three 25 basis point rate cuts by the Bank of Canada, the most recent one in September, appear to have finally boosted the Toronto residential resale market. September saw 4,996 sales, an 8.5% increase from last year's 4,606 marking the first monthly gain since May. However, this figure is still low for September, which typically sees around 7,500 sales. For comparison's sake, 7,795 homes were sold in September 2019 before the pandemic. Despite rising inventory levels in the city of Toronto, prices seem to have held steady. In the city, detached homes average sale price was $1,680,000, while semi-detached homes averaged $1,300,000. These properties often sold above ask and in less than 21 days. Conversely, the condominium market is struggling. Condos made up 35% of all listings in September, but only accounted for 27% sales. Over the past decade, the average condo size has shrunk by 35% from 1,100 square feet to 700 square feet, catering mainly to investors rather than end users. With new legislation discouraging foreign investment, the market is flooded with small units, which first-time buyers are reluctant to purchase, both because of affordability and because they are so small. A correction in this market may take years. In September, federal government announcements extended 30-year amortizations for first-time homebuyers and raised the cap for insured mortgages from $1 million to $1.5 million, effective December 15th, 2024. This should help to stimulate the market. Additionally, economists forecast further rate cuts with overnight rate expected to drop to 3% by mid-2025. Hopefully, this will reawaken the real estate market from its two-year low. We're starting to see quite an increase in the number of showings booked in the City of Toronto for the month of September. In fact, new showings booked the last week of September was up 96% year over year. Now, that's a positive sign. With this increase in showings, we are seeing an immediate impact on the number of offers on properties in Toronto. As a result, we've seen increased momentum in the month of September. You're actually seeing the media headlines shed a positive light on the real estate market for the first time in a while. There's still a bit of a wait and see mentality with buyers who are still waiting for further rate cuts, which likely will fuel the market and give us a robust spring 2025. So there's a current glut of inventory on the market. So it'll be interesting to see how much is absorbed over the next three months. We'll have to keep an eye on that, keep you posted. Many economists feel that the worst is behind us and housing affordability, although it remains a challenge, is certainly headed in the right direction. To quote RBC nationwide, it took household income of $155,000 to carry a home with a price tag around $810,000, assuming a 20% down payment and 25% amortization. That's down from $161,000 from the end of 2023. The income required on that same home in 2019, just before the pandemic hit, was $96,000 or 38% lower in nominal terms. A sizable down payment, which of course will reduce your mortgage, is still a huge challenge as far as affordability is concerned. I anticipate we're going to see a strong Q4 2024, particularly after the next interest rate announcements by the Bank of Canada of hopefully 50 basis points tomorrow. Thanks so much. And if you have any questions, please reach out.